Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive One. And we are starting a timer. TNT. What up? So there was this lady that uh, was married to a man. <laughs> oh my God, Jonas. This story is insane. I know. Riveting. Oh my Lord. Uh, and she walked in on this man masturbating to pornography. Okay. Well. To which she began assaulting him to Wait. the point where they had to call the police. Wait, really? Yes. She was not happy that she found her intimate partner playing with his own parts when she was there to play with his parts for him. Jonas, this is toxic femininity. <laughs> oh, wow. It is. It is. It's, a, it's another case of toxic femininity. Well, do, you, do you think if this dude would have walked into it on his woman switch, masturbating it, like, to porn? Switch the tables. He would have been like, oh, my God, I've been waiting tell, for this day. Tell the, tell the story, but would switch okay. the pronouns. All right, here we A go. man oh. walks in on his wife masturbating to porn, proceeds to beat the hell out of her to the point the cops need to be called. What? <laughs> All right. That's a story. I see, I see the point that you're coming at. Okay, now. then. The, the story would go, man walks in on his wife masturbating to porn, tries to join her, gets rejected, goes and masturbates in the bathroom <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> Has to make his own sandwich. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, that's, dude. That's have nuts. you ever had a girlfriend catch you like watching porn, or have you ever talked to she ever, as a girlfriend or a live-in partner ever been like, "Why do you guys look at porn if I'm around?" Like any of that sort of stuff. All right. So this ain't this ain't a flex, but it was actually like one of the youngest girls ever dated. Don't get don't 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 get gross. Well, for she reference, was, how old were you at the she time? She was nineteen. I was like twenty four or okay. something. Okay, yeah, right. Okay, all right. But she was nineteen. I was twenty four, and she would not. She did not like the fact that I watched pornography. But she stayed at home with her parents. And I lived in my <laughs> well, I mean, so weird. I felt like a creep, but I was like I said, I was young. I mean. When you're in your early mid twenties and they're basically right about twenty, like yeah, that's that's, yeah, that's yeah. not uncommon. I know, but it does. Seem it does weird. sound like she lived at home with her mom, and I had my own place. Yeah, I got so, you. So, oh, geez, John, I'm just going to give away all my games. So what I told her is, I was like, "Well, look, I'm going to do that in my free time." I was like, "So what you could do is you could supply me with videos and images, and I'll be perfectly fine." Using those. Using those to okay. accomplish that act. And she obliged. And it was wonderful. And yes, I still have them. And no, you can't see them. <laughs> yeah, but but uh, but yeah, no, and now I see that. Like, I mean, that's a valid thing. You're like, hey, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. And then, uh, but you know, it's different when you live together. It is. It then, is. Then you had, like, because I've had girlfriends, that, you know, and here's just to show how horny guys are. I mean, it's probably guys <laughs> listening to this, but I had a girl, like, the, a girlfriend I dated uh, back, probably, it was like, kind of the same age gap. I was a little older. She was a little older. So she was like 22. I was like 26 or eight or something sure, like that. Sure. And, uh, and like, you know, we, we were young. We had lots of, we had lo lots of coitus. You know what I mean? And like, <laughs> But it didn't stop me, like, later that night from being like, you know what, I'm going to go check out the computer real quick. <laughs> like, it didn't, it did not, like, dudes are just complete horn dogs. It doesn't matter how much sex you're getting, you still are like. I, I don't really think that it's any different from, like, women, though. Like, women. Maybe. I mean, I, don't know. I, I guess women, you know, it. it's like a. What is it? A stigma attached to it that women don't masturbate as much. Yeah, but they like to. Yeah, they do. Of course they do. But there's do. a lot. Okay. And I've actually had this conversation with, with women and partners. You know why it is? Is they are ashamed when they're young about it. They, there's lots of shame put on them about being a lady, not masturbating, things like that. Because I've had partners that, like, told me that, like, they liked masturbating but always, like, had, like, this stigma in their brain. Like, whenever they'd want to do it, they would hear, like, church or whatever. They're, you know, it's like – beaten into them that they're not supposed to do that it's unladylike yada 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 that's very, so it, it causes a problem that's that's a good point actually that you make there because i remember when i was like 11 or 12 years old and i had a playboy that one of my friends had given me or <laughs> right, something right. he was like yeah it's my uncle's but he he left it here but you can have it uh, he was like, I'm done with it anyway. Oh, I was like, hey, oh that yeah, sounds know, gross. Right? Hey, look. You're He's 11, like, don't look at page 42 to you're, 44. You're like 11, 12 years old. You don't care. No, no, So you I, I take wrong. it home and, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm not, I keep it like under the mattress, but my dad went into the room 
and he comes out. He's like, "What is this?" And I'm like, "Uh, it's a book." <laughs> 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 I mean, you're not wrong in a so, way. So he like opens it up, like flips through a couple pages of it, closes it, hands it back to me, and says, "Don't let your mother find out." I was like, "Yo, <laughs> right, right." But let no. a let a mom catch a girl with a playgirl. Oh yeah, it would have been. It would have yeah, been like it would have yeah. been a whole different thing. So and and that's and that's and I've had a, and I've had huh. girls say to me before and other times like I have a hard time reaching the top of the mountain by myself because all the shame that comes with that from my childhood or going to church or my parents or whatever. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, and I've never, never thought of it that way until like I had these conversations with women and I'm like, dude, and boys, it's just like, haha, boys will be boys playing with their penis. You know, there, there's, there's a ton of differences when like uh, coming up a female, like I guess the, the idea of like the female form, it's like, uh, okay. So you hear like women nowadays, like talking about like body positivity right, right, right. and about like how, people in the media and online and on social media they're always like touching up their photos to make them look like you know perfect right. airbrushing or, or digital top yeah. editing and yeah. they're like we want uh we want different body types and, right, and right. commercials and stuff and yet i look at male commercials and it's always like some dude with a six Washboard, pack yeah. yeah 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 no and i feel that because it's all well, in it's but it's, we don't we don't complain about well, that. It, it, it yeah but it's but we're also men are taught not to complain we're told to suck it up yeah, the same thing with yeah. dudes are like suck it up it ain't a problem be a man yeah and honestly <laughs> if you're a heavier set man it's it's okay you yeah. know you can you can be a little bit you don't have to be that perfect adonis looking figure yeah. women love that stuff but they've come to terms with well, it. well i mean i think it's the same thing as guys have come to terms of like yeah yeah we'd all like to have a a, a yeah. felt bat ba bomb body lady <laughs> but I mean, like well especially now the more time that goes by the more people that are bigger than average chubby overweight you know and it's so i mean there's not a lot the we, the we percentiles we call that thick jonas thick yeah we like them thick but uh but yeah dude it's it's uh yeah, dudes would go hungry if they if they were just like holding out for like perfect bodies all the time right We'd yeah and it's, i mean and, and women too yes yeah. like you can't like you can't and it's funny because that's probably the biggest thing with uh men and women is that <clears throat> We all think that like our body type is is like weird or not wanted or whatever, you know. Like we all have a level of body dysmorphia. E exactly, exactly, Definitely. exactly. And it's uh, it, it's it's so weird because most people it, are just happy to just to have someone to have a, a relations with. Like you know what I mean? It's like uh, yeah, fair. Well, yeah, because it's like women will always be like, oh, well, once they see my boobs or, you know, my boobs are lopsided or whatever. Or, and, I've never seen a titty I didn't like. Jones. Right. And that's the thing. And they're like, oh, but my belly. And they're like, lady, you had a kid. Like, that, like, what do you, <laughs> like, what do you, like, guys know, like, most men, <laughs> if you get to the point where you're taking your clothes off, they yeah. couldn't give two shits less at that point. Because yeah. you're to the point where, like, you're yeah. taking your clothes off. And, yeah, you know, it's about to go down. It, right, exactly. Yeah. Nobody nobody cares. It took it took me a while, John. I'm not even going to lie. It took me a while to get to the point where I was just like, shirt comes off, let's just get naked. I'm, I'm good. I don't, oh, I don't know. Well, well, I think everybody has a level of that. Well, because here's the thing, dude. It's well, the same thing. Same thing for body dysmorphia for women as guys. But then also, if you're like, if you're a thicker dude, same thing. You, there ain't no fat dudes on commercials modeling shirts and shit. That, you know what not. I mean? So you, you always feel like you're not good enough. But, and then, uh, but at the same time, we ain't necessarily rallying for like. <laughs> right, right. For like heavy set dudes to have the like fat dude inclusion. Yeah, we don't want that. We don't and care. uh I but guess no, it's the same thing. More, but, but here's the other thing. It's like, but when you're when you're bigger or when you're not a perfect uh your whole life you've been told it's not enough. And I was reading a thing on Reddit the other day. It's like if you go to the doctor, you're a heavy set guy, you go there with a cold, and they're like, Yeah, you got a cold, but why don't you lose some weight too? It's like you're like, Oh, I came in with a broken arm. 
well, you know, if you wouldn't be so heavy, you probably wouldn't have broke your arm. You're like, They're bitch, I'm wrong. here to talk about a broken arm. I know, yes, I need to lose 20 pounds. But why are you telling me I need to lose weight when I'm here for, like, something that had nothing to do with my weight? It, because, I mean, honestly, Jonah's losing that weight will change your life, man. <laughs> it will. I mean, it is. It, th it They're does. not wrong. But They're it not. also gives people They're fucking not. conditions, man. Like, it's <laughs> your brain about, like, that you always need to lose weight. You're like, I got, I got pneumonia hey. because I'm fat. Like, you know, where I, like... <laughs> You, know, it's like, you want you want mental help, you need to go to a psychiatrist. You came here for medical <laughs> a professional. We're like, we'll fix your arm, lose but you gotta lose pounds. weight too. Yeah, lose fifty so, pounds. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe and uh crazytown.com is where you gotta go to subscribe and do that. Jonas. T -T. Uh we out.